today's top stories. The U.S. State Department announced late last night that Dennis Ross has been appointed as a special advisor to Secretary of State Hillary Clinton on the Gulf and Southwest Asia. State Department spokesperson Robert Wood said, quote, This is a region in which America is fighting two wars and facing challenges of ongoing conflict, terror, proliferation, access to energy, economic development, and strengthening democracy and the rule of law. Ross, who was the top Middle East envoy in the administrations of George H.W. Bush and Bill Clinton, would be responsible for developing a strategy for engaging Tehran. According to the Washington Post, Ross's efforts in engaging Iran may remain hidden for some time. In an article published last September, Ross recommended that the initial approach toward Tehran take place through a direct secret back channel. Iran's President Ahmadinejad has sent a message to Bahrain's King Hamid bin Isa al Khalifa underlying Tehran's friendly ties with the Persian Gulf states, after an Iranian official reportedly questioned the Arab nation's sovereignty. In a letter delivered yesterday by Iran's interior minister Sadek Masouli, Ahmadinejad wrote, quote, We will never allow Tehran Manama relations to be harmed. Masouli, who came with an invitation for King Hamad to visit Tehran, said that the enemies of Islam were trying to create divisions between Muslim countries. Tensions between the two countries were heightened earlier this month, after Hojat Tol Islam Ali Akbar Natak Nori, head of the Iranian Supreme Leader's Inspection Office, was reported as saying that Bahrain was at one time Iran's 14th province. Following widespread protests by students at the Amir Kabir Technical University on February 23rd against the plan of the burial of unknown war martyrs in the university grounds, which resulted in clashes with security forces, more than 70 students were altogether arrested and some students were injured. And today, security forces detained Ahmad Kasaban, Nariman Mostafavi, and Mehdi Mashayaki, all members of the Islamic Student Society of Amir Kabir University. According to the Amir Kabir Student Newsletter, the arrest of these student activists took place in their homes in the early hours of this morning. The Amir Kabir website reported that a number of other student activists of the university were also arrested this morning, but that no announcements have yet been made about their names or other details concerning them. These stories and more at IranVNC.com.